playing some bridge today. I'm playing with Alan because it's Tuesday. This is the first hand of the day. Um, I am in second seat. Looks like we're playing three board rounds, 18 minute rounds, which is nice. Time to say hi to the opponents. We're playing against Kevin and Patty, who play standard stuff. So that should be nice and easy to play against. I have a 17 count. Perfect for a one club precision opening. All right, so hang on. I just need to, to, to list the quality of bridge that I'm, I'm playing today because it varies depending on how we're doing. So um, let's see. Okay, so partners one heart bid shows four or more spades, game forcing values. Perfect for what I have. Um, normally my hand would open one no trump. I think most people would open this one no trump. But uh, this hand is actually quite good for playing in spades. If partner has uh, some useful shape or values, uh, we might have a slam here. And I don't know what his shape is entirely yet, but I'm going to find that out. So partners two diamond bid shows a hand with uh, spades and clubs is at least nine cards in the two suits so i am going to further discover what his shape is and strength all right Partner's two spades would show a minimum hand. If he had a minimum hand, he would have bid it already. So he has more than 12, he has 12 or more points. And now, uh, so above two spades, two no trump would show longer clubs than spades. Uh, two, three clubs would show at least 10 cards in the two suits with equal or longer spades. And then bids higher than three clubs would usually show hands with five spades and four clubs. So uh, quickly, uh, two spades, uh, eight to 11, and then two no trump, longer clubs, three clubs, uh, 10 cards, three diamonds is five spades, four clubs, two, two. So now he's showing one heart and three diamonds in addition to his uh, five spades and four clubs. One heart, three diamonds. This is very curious. I feel like I'm missing something here. But... Um, He's, tell, he's told me his exact shape up to this point. So what I need to do is uh, keep asking him about his high cards because he's unlimited because uh, he has 12 or more points. So even though the fit isn't fantastic, I need to keep asking. So this shows an even number of aces. And given that he has 12 or more points, it's almost certainly two. So I'm going to keep asking about his shape because if he has both minor suit aces, and he is, uh, if he has four clubs and three diamonds, then uh, we need to know what his spade holding is really. And, and that puts us on a slam trajectory. So let's find out. The cards I'm asking him about now are the king of spades, king of clubs, and king of diamonds. I obviously have both the king of clubs and king of diamonds. So uh, if he has the king of spades, uh, he's going to answer, um, so four diamonds would deny all three of those. Um, four spades should show four hearts, four spades. Uh, this bid might be impossible. It, it's showing uh, a holding that I don't think he can have at this point. So that's weird. Maybe Maybe there's been a miscommunication somewhere. Unfortunately, I think there might have been. So I'm just going to blast to uh, six spades, hoping he has the king of spades. 
And I wish that I was on the same page about this one, but I feel like we might have got a relay step wrong there. So well, his one heart should show spades. So at the very least, we're in a nine card spade fit here. And uh, he should have two aces here. He does not have two aces. He has zero aces. So that's unfortunate. We're down one. He also did not have that correct shape. He, he sort of lied a couple times. Um, yeah. With 6-5, uh, his correct approach is to go zoom past 5-4 shape. So... Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about that hand later with him. All right, could be short. He stretched to show a stronger hand given the shape. And then didn't actually tell me what the shape was. All right, so one club could be short. We're in a part score. Um, I have no idea what to lead here. I think probably the 10 of hearts is fine. All right, I don't know why South passed. Oh boy. Nobody else bid that, right? Actually, somebody went to uh, three hearts down six, which is bizarre. Hmm. The fact that there's no club continuation here tells me that North probably started with five clubs, three hearts. I'm going to go with uh, four spades and one diamond, maybe. Might have been better to play a diamond here. Not sure. Oh, he had the jack of clubs. All right. One club making is good board for us because they can make four spades. Excellent. We made it back.
four spades doesn't look close. And even one club should do a trick better. Now I'm in fourth and North is opening two no trump, which I assume is a strong no trump. Um, and I have a pretty good hand, but I, I, I don't see the need to interfere here. Might as well pass, lead a heart. Which happens to be my long suit. Dummy with two, North with about 20. I have uh, 14. Leaving partner with uh, about four points. So we'll see where those points are. Are they in hearts or not? Let's see if this forces the king or the queen. So there's the queen. I still don't know where the king is, but I can afford to underlead a second heart here. Now, uh, there's the king of diamonds. So there's no reason to drop the jack underneath this. Um, yeah, it's not like it'll successfully hold up anything. So that should be reverse smith, like he likes hearts or something. No reason to shift. He has the king? Yeah, he does. Now, if that's a doubled in king, then okay, so he had a triple in king. So nice, looks like we're beating this. Here, uh, four heart tricks, ace of clubs, ace of diamonds. If he is the, the king of hearts, he doesn't have room for much more. I'm gonna play my hearts at the line. Sh should suggest that I'm holding to something in a lower ranking suit. North's in trouble here. Do you get rid of your entry to dummy? Do you unguard, you throw away spade winners? Or do you, yeah. So North is holding on to the queen small of diamonds, which as it happens is the correct thing to do because I have I have the singleton jack here. But if we see a low diamond come out of North, then that's good news because it means there's no entry back to, to South's diamonds. That's the queen of clubs. So I think that jack of clubs is a very useful card in this situation. Um, I have to cash my ace here. It'll drop the king, but then that jack of clubs is still a winner and dummy. Yeah, so three clubs to the king, a couple of hearts, probably four spades to the ace, uh, maybe five. I don't know. Um, best thing I can do here is just try a spade and hope to hit partner with something. And here comes queen and diamond, I think. Unless north unblocked the club suit and is relying on that for an entry. There's diamond and dummy's good. Yeah, so partner just had that king of hearts. I don't blame them from going down. It's a normal contract, a normal result. Um, okay, 
So with six spades of five clubs, instead of showing five, one, three, four, you need to go past the relevant uh, hand. And there, if, if he shows that kind of shape, then all I need to know is his number of aces. And he, he still could have been five, uh, three, one, four. He was, he showed five, one, three, four. So it would have been a couple steps higher. This is 14 to 16 and I have an easy pass. Easy pass. I'll chat that to him after the hand. So let's quickly look at one oak trump here. He's got a nice hand for me. We, we got four club tricks, the ace of hearts, that's uh, five off the top, the ace of spades is six. And then the only question is, where's seven coming from? So it could come from setting up a diamond or it could come from a spade finesse. So two of hearts lead suggests a four, three heart break, meaning the opponents can cash at most three heart tricks. With the queen jack 10 of diamonds, that means uh, we can afford to lose the hard tricks right away, and then knock out the ace of diamonds nice and slowly. That will fail if the opponents find out that they need to attack spades first, but then we just have to guess at that point whether to take the spade finesse or not, which we probably should. So here, uh, the club position is getting revealed by Alad's uh, play here, which is fine, but it does mean that the opponents are likely to unlikely to play another club when they get back in. We'll probably see another heart by North. Um, and, oh, it's a diamond. Interesting. No appetite for the heart suit. I wonder if they accidentally signaled something. Here, uh, looks like diamonds are, are not splitting well. That means that uh, North has the long diamond, but also North probably has three hearts. What that means is that we might be able to squeeze North by playing out the clubs. If North ends up throwing away a heart, Alid can throw away a spade from dummy and then attack the hearts. So we'll see what North pitches. Probably a heart. Um, and then Alid's will serve. So no heart, meaning that North is probably down at this point to three hearts and one diamond. So Alid might be able to do something tricky in the spade suit. Um, looks like he's not doing that here. Uh, if he gives up a heart here, he... Uh, North almost certainly doesn't have the king of spades for what it's worth. The hearts might get blocked if he plays a heart from his hand. The fact that North let a low heart means North probably doesn't have touching honors. But North would probably fly in the heart suit, cash a diamond, play another heart to the partner. Um, and that could mean South gets end played in, in the spade suit. But yes, uh, I think there's a good chance Alad plays a heart from his hand rather than taking the spade finesse. Just because uh, the spade finesse is, is almost certainly offside here. Hey, welcome to the stream, Jordan. <sighs> Alad lost in thought, probably going to play a heart. Oh, I'm glad you're all watching. Um, this is my normal Tuesday night where I sit and I watch Alad screw up hands. Welcome to the stream, back rank one, two, three. Here comes a diamond. I don't know what the diamond's for. The heart's more likely to block their heart suit than the diamond, but it doesn't matter. So here comes a low heart. That'll avoid the heart blockage, I think, uh, because South will be down to just a low heart in hand, and then North will overtake and cash another heart. So yeah, North has one more heart. Alad will throw the queen of spades, and then North is down to one more spade. 
had Allen exited hard from his hand, North probably just plays low. Yeah, with that, North plays low. And then South would need to know to take the Queen of Hearts and then play the 10 rather than playing the 10 of Hearts. So that's... Uh... Oh, he pitched down to Stiff King of, King of Spades. He did. That's pretty impressive. Also, Allen, good try. Yeah, so that's not going to be good. So I have a, an easy one to heart overcall here with 13 points and five hearts the ace. We'll see how the uh, bidding progresses from here. Looks like partners bidding two diamonds. Two diamonds shows a good heart raise. Um, what do I have? I have 13 points, uh, but it's a good 13, I would say. Um, I'm excited to see him show up with some like king, queen of hearts. Uh, we have pretty good chances in, in game. I'm going to go for it. This might be a little aggressive. That is unfortunate. I am surprised that North dis defended by pitching down to the stiff king rather than throwing away a low heart when North didn't really know the position of the heart suit. So this could be aggressive, but I think I trust partners uh, two diamonds bid here to be a good invitational plus raise. So let's see what we got here. Partners got a nice hand. Uh, looks like uh, the most of the points are going to be in North's hand. North opened the bidding. South's leading the king of clubs after North opened a diamond. So let's put South with the king, queen of clubs. What does that leave for North to open the bidding? The king of hearts, the queen, jack of spades, that's six. King, jack of diamonds, that's 10. Jack of clubs is 11. So North has every card absent a bizarre distribution. What that means is the heart finesse is going to work. And I don't need to worry about anything like holding up in clubs. So what I'm going to do is win my ace of clubs, take a hard hook, and then uh, pull trump, take a spade hook, sorry, a diamond hook, and then maybe I'll be able to set some stuff up in the diamond suit. There's the cover. I don't know if this king is singleton or not. I hope it's not. Okay. So had South held a singleton diamond, South would have led the singleton diamond. So I don't think diamonds are 6-1. I think they're much more likely to be, uh, well, with the 10 there, that implies that they're 4-3, which is very good because it means I only need to rough one diamond. It's the jack. Oh, no, that's the two. So that means uh, I'll need to rough both of these, but I can do it. Now, hmm, am I out of high hearts and dummy? I am out of high hearts and dummy. So how am I going to avoid the problem here? Let's say uh, five diamonds, one. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Ah, so no luck in the spade suit, I think. It's not the 10 of spades. No rough, I'm guessing. If South roughs, I'm happy. No rough, it seems. So here, uh, I have no choice but to rough. And now... Um, Give up a club. And I still have to lose the nine of hearts. Still a contract made. It's 
should be a fine score. Yep. Can't do much worse than 11 tricks there. Next hand, 11 high. It's a very bad 11. I'm not sure if I want to open this. Uh, we open almost all 11s, but I think I will pass this one. Uh, Non-vulnerable, I'd open this a week, no trump. <sighs> so, how are we doing in terms of this board? Alid gave away the overtrick there, so that's not a good board. This one is good because we bid the game. One spade by partner. So I uh, I have a, a nice uh, Drury bid. I think we play rebidding the major is the weaker result, so I will pass him in two spades. Looks like he's got a 10 count. We're in the right spot. We've got uh, four quick losers, and then the king of hearts is a, is a guess. I think that contract can make uh, six, if I'm more careful, though. I don't know if anybody at the table did that. So yeah, you can see it actually does make six, if I'm careful about it. But it does require me to, I think, drop the singleton king of hearts. I'm just reviewing the previous line of play, because this hand's not that interesting. Um, no, I, I can still recover after winning that ace of hearts. Uh, according to this, what I need to do is... Probably king of spades, spade to the ace, and then um, diamond, hook, and ace. Some kind of cross rough. Yeah, not 100% sure. Now, do you take the finesse or not? Good question, Alan. Good question. Alan takes it. Does it work? It does not. Is this going to be a heart back that gets roughed? Let's find out. No, no heart back. Excellent. Spades knocking out the ace. And I am going to zoom ahead in this double dummy simulation to here, where I can pick out the king of spades. I'm sure it's followed up with the five of spades to the ace, with a, probably a diamond finesse. No, it's roughing a spade. OK. Suppose you throw away a club. Then it's, huh, you give up a club. Curious. OK, so say this hand wins and plays the Ten of Spades. From here, you pull Trump. Oh, and then you squeeze north. I see. The, the point of the defense is, wait. Need to review that a little more. So he made two. Uh, why did he not make? Oh yeah, the King of Hearts is offside. So we stopped in two, which should be good. Um, yeah, that's the benefit of Drury. You don't have to make invites with those hands. Yeah, now it's bitter that he got good defense. So here on this hand, um, let's say there's a low club. Over here and now you get um, let's say it's another round of clubs you rough now it's, it's obviously hard up if 
diamond hook. Diamond rough. And here, there's no benefit of over roughing. Okay. And then you manage to score that eight of hearts by roughing the spades in hand and the club in hand. So that's how you make six there. Okay. Fascinating hand. Fascinating hand. I could have made six there um, if I was just a little more careful and thought it through more. But making five is, is a good board as it is because we managed to actually bid it. Props to the folks who, who take uh, 12 tricks there. And then on, on board four, Alad got fooled by the defense. But I think he probably does better to play a heart out of his hand rather than the diamond. Uh, and then on board six, we stopped in two spades for an above average score. Yeah, uh, that's right, back rank. You you do actually end up reversing the dummy by roughing three black cards in hand. Um, if I were more careful, I would have spotted it, but uh, I was not, and I missed it. And uh, it's foreseeable. It's absolutely foreseeable when North insta covers the Queen of Hearts. You can you can place North with, I would say, assuming South has at least four spades, which is likely in this circumstance, then you can put together a nice 12 tricks. All right, two minutes left in the round. Uh, overall, I'm going to improve the quality of our bridge after that round to our relay precision, which I'm going to call an average game for us, uh, which is below a decent relay precision and a mature two over one. And... Uh, I'll throw a Polish club on there, right? Yeah, so had Al had gone three no trump, I can then ask him about the number of aces he has by bidding four clubs, and he will say he has an even number of aces. And at that point, um, if he has two aces, I let's go back to board one in question. So let's suppose Alad bid three no trump, showing exactly that shape. And then I go four clubs, he goes four diamonds, showing an even number of aces. If he has two aces, then we are uh, what looks to be cold for six or possibly seven, depending on the location of, um, I think, the queen of clubs. But it does give me the room to ask, do you have two aces? And, and my bid to ask if he has two aces is four no trump. And then he would bid five clubs to say, actually, I have one ace. And then I go five spades to sign off. We make five spades for what looks to be an above average, but not spectacular result, as opposed to a, a horrific down one off two cashing aces, six spades. So partners opening another one no trump in first or second seat vulnerable, showing 14 to 16 points. And I have a 10 count with six good hearts. So my bid is simple. I'm going to say hi. Let Alad play another one. There are better 10 counts with six card heart suits to the ace queen. But with six hearts, the ace queen partner has 14 high. Four hearts cannot be the wrong spot. Everybody should be here, and it'll come down to the defense and the de declarer play. So I've hit partner's four card suit, which is nice. Uh, the miners are very simple. There's two losers in them and nothing complicated going on. The only complication is the heart suit. And uh, unless hearts are really bad, there's not going to be more than one loser. The... King, Jack, and Small are missing. So if Alad knows that Mike is void in hearts, he can take a deep finesse first round. Otherwise, his best line is to lead a low heart to the queen. Uh, 
Um, and that'll be obvious if he sees the jack pop up. But if uh, he sees the it's the two, then he'll do something else. So this will be a very simple, uh, simple hand. Alad's thinking it through, but he'll win his ace of spades and play a heart to his queen. There's no chance of shedding losers in the minor suits. I don't think there's a way to be sneaky without having the opponents cash their ace of diamonds, which would be the ace that, in theory, you could get away from having the opponents cash. If you can sneak a diamond by, knock out the ace of clubs, not have them win their ace of diamonds at that point, and then somehow get somebody to throw off their long spade. Not going to happen. Alad's just going to play a heart and then make a claim, depending on what happens. It's the two of hearts. The queen of hearts is the correct play. But does he have the guts? Oh, tough. Was it a stiff? Let's find out. Alad can't claim yet because there is, in theory, the possibility of a rough happening. But very unlikely. And let's find out. He's going to play a round of hearts before claiming. Yeah, this hand is one suit bridge. Fortunately, the hearts are are not winnable. Uh, now Alad's just going to try to sneak it by, but he's he's not going to have any luck here. I think. Yeah, there's there's he has to lose the ace of clubs, and so he'll claim making four. Very nice. If the contract was instead three no trump, which who knows it might have been at some tables on a diamond lead, it's down. On a club lead or a spade lead, you get five, six, seven, eight. You probably manage to get to nine tricks. You might only get to eight, but I think everybody's going to be in four hearts. There are possibly going to be folks who stop short of it because Alad only had 14, and I only had 10 high grip points. So if you're just counting points, you might decide to stop short, but well, then you're probably not going to make your 10 tricks anyway. You'll manage to blow another trick somewhere. So three spades by partner preemptive, usually seven plus, could be a good six card suit. Double by north, and I have nothing to say, so I'm passing. Uh, let's uh, refresh this. Uh, looks like most people actually gave up because Easts did not make a game try. That seems to be the, the sticking point there. On this hand, East made the game try and West denied it, which I find harder to believe than... Um, yeah, I guess when you have a, a two bonus hearts and 10 points, of course you're going to make a game try. And then West should have accepted with all those controls. And then on this deal, um, looks like West never raised hearts. And he's just bid them twice. Three no trump by South. Yeah, not sure why West didn't raise hearts there. All right, so three no trump is the spot. Alad's leading a six of spades. We play a trick one of fourth highest or, or fourth best lead. So rule of 11 says five higher cards. South probably has two spade stops. The jack of spades is a fun card. What does that tell me? Probably tells me uh, he's got... Actually, I have no idea. But I... Uh, if I had a high spade, I would have played it for sure. So this is low from something we saw the nine so i think that mike probably has one higher spade uh the jack is something you would see from king's nine if mike has king nine of spades um and i'm gonna play the seven of diamonds reverse smith uh in case alad can win a diamond trick so it looks like five diamond tricks for the defense the jack of spades is six those two aces are eight. And now uh, I need to, and that's encouraging spades. So again, he's got probably ace, queen, seventh of spades is my guess at this point. Might be kings, but um, yeah. So here uh, I'm going to discourage hearts. But I think Mike probably has the king of clubs.
So no club finesse taken, but again, I think that's probably because Mike has the king of clubs. Yeah, confirmed. So that's what, 10 tricks. Um, I'm gonna put Allard with uh, high spade. I think uh, partner fall with the two of those clubs, so my jack of clubs is worthless. Mike's gonna play probably a heart to the ace, and then we have the rest. There's the ace of spades. Okay, so that's curious. Um, he led from king, queen, seventh. He led a low spade. Uh, okay. I don't know if I like that. But it is what it is. Um, looks like uh, tw uh, 11 tricks for the opponents. On a high spade lead, that is uh, at most 10. 18 high. So I'll open a precision club here. Machine learning forcing pass system sounds interesting. Eventually it'll happen. Give it a couple decades and somebody's going to run bridge into, into alpha zero and come up with a bidding system. I look forward to trying to learn it. Hang on. After that last one, I need to downgrade us a couple because uh, that was bad. Uh, I'm going to put us down to S-A-Y-C there. So not only uh, is, <laughs> you know, Trump making five a top four, which I thought it would be, but also any three, you no know, Trump making at least 10 tricks is a top four. Even though there's um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 top tricks in no Trump. Just a, just a bizarre set of comparisons here. I feel really uncomfortable looking at this traveler, honestly. I just don't see how it happens. Um, I think Kevin has to double there, and I think Sal has to bid three no Trump. Anyway, uh, partner's got a zero to seven hand, and I have an easy, uh, so this is 17 to 19, uh, one no Trump. How good is this 17 to 19? It's normal 18. Looks like I'm playing the most exciting contract in bridge. One no trump. Was four hearts making good? It was the only four hearts by West making. Wait, hang on. Oh, yes, he was the only 14-point opening of one no Trump. Okay, so uh, one no Trump's the contract. Let's try to take our tricks. Uh, they play fourth best lead. Hey, Doug, welcome to the, welcome to the stream. Nobody bids three no Trump. I, I, it's, it's bizarre. I don't get it, but it is bridge. Oh, somebody else bid three no Trump. See, that Alid's, Alid's misdefense did cost us half a match play, so I can, I, I can lecture him now. The six of spades, probably a fourth best spade, probably from an honor. So if I go up queen here, no harm done. It also puts me in dummy so I can lead toward my hand. I can do things like take a club finesse or lead up to my diamonds. Leading up to the diamonds could be beneficial depending on the break. Uh, that could be fourth from five. I'm going to try my queen of spades here because I want to be able to get to this dummy. Uh, looks like fourth from four, south has the king of spades. Uh, given the lack of entries to dummy, I don't know how useful attacking diamonds is going to be. So I'm going to stake my uh, claim on the club suit. I'm going to try the club finesse. It's the eight. Okay, so that lost. That's fun. Here comes a heart. That is my weakness. Take that. So I have two spades, one heart, two clubs. That's five tricks. Maybe I'll get more tricks if the clubs are 3-3. Three, three. It's the 10 of clubs. So I now have an entry to dummy if I ever want to get there. The only question is, do I want to get there? And I think I do, but only to just unblock the suit. 
play a spade back to my ace, concede down one. Is that good? I still have three more heart losers and two more diamonds coming. So that's six losers. Um, I think the first thing I will do is probably play this club to the nine. Two, three, five. Yeah. I don't think I can make this contract. So I will just take my winners. Low diamond pitch. South should probably cash his king of spades here. There's clearly no entry to dummy. What I want to see is, is a, a ace and a diamond here. It's not going to happen. I think I'm just down one. Here's the king of spades. Another heart pitch. I'm going to hold on to these hearts. They might be useful if there has to be an overtake here. I hope I didn't squeeze my... I hope South didn't squeeze me, but I don't think South squeezed me. Here's the Ten of Spades. That's useful. So I guess I had a thrown off those hearts, I would score my jack of diamonds. But also, they didn't win their hearts for some reason. They had uh, three heart tricks to cash. If they cash their three heart tricks, their two diamond tricks, and uh, they get their king of spades, and the queen of clubs, I'm down. But making it should be a good score here. Um, yeah, 90 is fine. Mm, I, don't, I don't need to do 120. As long as I make it, I'm happy. Also, there are folks who go way overboard by going to two no trump or even three no trump. <laughs> Overbidding three no trump to three hearts to three no trump there is very bad, and you deserve to be down five if you do that. So I think the traveler will tell me that I can make it, but only because I knowing where all the clubs are, I can play clubs in a certain way. Um, let's uh, confirm that here. So no trump by east, which is what happened at my table. Um, yeah, so perfect defense holds it to uh, down one, I believe. Yeah, so uh, let's let's quickly, yeah. So I think it's down one on most defenses. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the raid. Um, this uh, has been a bit of an up and down game. I'm going to uh, upgrade the quality of our system today to two over one with no discussion of follow-ups. And it's been a half-decent game. There have been some uh, catastrophes. Board one, an absolute catastrophe off two caching aces. Uh, board four, uh, Alad playing the hand didn't take the finesse that everybody else took because he took too much inference into the defense's carding. And then uh, board eight, we blew an extra trick on the defense because Alad led a fourth best spade instead of the king from seven. Also, nobody else found... Nobody else but one pair found the ice cold uh, three no trap. Do you lead a low spade or top spade with my holding on the auction from eight, Ethan? Without a side entry, the low spade is usually best choice in my mind. Well, I understand. Uh, I think that the answer is different at match points than it is at imps. But, you know, I could be wrong. I could be right. Give the hand to 30 experts, and I'm sure you'll get some disagreement. Bridge experts disagree all the time about bidding in and playing in unclear circumstances. And many of them will also 
claim that their chosen action is the only logical action. And yet all these people are very good bridge players. Uh, just goes to show how good avoiding dumb mistakes can be. If you avoid dumb mistakes, you're an expert bridge player. Figuring out the hard stuff helps, but it's not the most important thing. Time to say hi. Yeah, uh, three no Trump is, is a very sad place to be. Um, fortunately, uh, precision helped us avoid the doomed uh, two no Trump there, where honestly, if you're playing a standard system and the opponents jump in at some point, you're going to probably end up getting two. So partners opening one club, 16 plus, I have under seven points or seven or fewer, so my bid is one diamond. Shit. Over one diamond, partner will describe his hand further. He'll bid a major naturally or one no trump with a no trumpy type hand. One no trump here shows 18 or 19 points. With 15 to 17, he would have opened one no trump at this position in vulnerability. So over 18 to 19, uh, I'm going to bid puppet statement. Is our precision club such that we play one no trump when it's 20 opposite zero? No. We play uh, it when it's 19 opposite zero, but not 20 opposite zero. Three diamonds is uh, a bid that shows uh, at least one four card major, no five card major. And that's all I need to know to go three dome. I think there are more optimal variants on Puppet that either give away less information or let you bid out more hands, but very happy to avoid any problems here. So uh, let's see. We're at a 57% game, which is okay. We can do a lot better. And uh, the lead is a heart, and we're in three no trumps. So that's not great for us. The heart lead is our most damaging lead. If that's a fourth best heart, then we might be okay. But if it's a fifth best heart, or rather if North has, I should say, if North has five hearts, we could be in trouble. It's unlikely that hearts are divided 6-2, so there's no point in holding up here. The question is, how do you attack the club suit? Because the clubs are the natural source of tricks here. You can't make this contract if you don't take club tricks. So, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. yeah, you need to set up the clubs. So if clubs are king small onside, then you do well to finesse the club suit. The problem is that, A, that's very unlikely, and B, you don't really have the entries to pull that off. So... Alad's attempting to attack the clubs directly, hoping for four, four hearts. Let's see if there's a hold up on the club suit. I doubt South will hold up with a king because he doesn't know where the where the queen of clubs is. Actually, the queen's in dummy, I lied. Um, but I think South will probably win the king of clubs because you don't want to get robbed here. Oh, interesting. So with the opponents holding up on the club suit, Alad now has two tricks. He has three more in the spades. He has one in the ace of hearts. So that's six. Ace of diamonds is seven. He needs two more on top of that. But that has to include another club. And he is doesn't have the entries to cross the ace of spades, knock out the king of clubs, and then uh, score well here. Had he overtaken the jack of clubs, uh, he would be in the position where he might have to give up two club tricks to the king and the nine. So I, I see why he didn't do it. Now Alad will decide how to play the spade suit properly. So if he plays a spade to the nine, he can get two entries to dummy. But it's risky. If you lose to the jack of spades when it's something like a jack doubleton, uh, you're going to go down two in a contract that a lot of people are either down one or making it. So let's see. Looks like he's taking that deep finesse in the spade suit, and it worked. So that's lucky. Uh, so it means he has eight top tricks, uh, but he's going for nine by trying to knock out the king of clubs here, which makes sense. He's throwing away the six of diamonds because he wants to seem weaker in the diamonds than he really is. He wants the opponents to shift the diamonds. So you can see why South... Uh, so that's the three of hearts. 
That means that North probably, if North led a fourth best card, started with four hearts. So this contract is going to make. And overtaking the club would not have been successful. Here, Alad will claim. Wait, hang on. Did yeah, Alad can claim the rest of the tricks. This should be a good board. Um, Alad has a, uh, what did he have? What was his count? Um, he had 18, I had six. So there are going to be folks who don't get to three no there. And you can see most of the field is either not there or down in it. And a uh, fair amount of people don't take nine tricks. Somebody took 10, played by East. Uh, maybe they avoided the uh, heart lead. Yeah, it looks like they got a club lead, which is very helpful. But uh, actually it can be beat by East um, and probably by West too. How would you go about beating it? I think that the, hang on, hang on there. So let me just, uh, so partners over calling a heart here. I don't have anything to say, so I'm passing after a suitably ethical pause. Hold up's fine, it didn't cost anything. Spade hook. <gasps> oh, North interposes with a jack of spades to prevent there from being two entries to dummy. That is an aware defensive play that I don't think most defenders spot it, but it would have been so sharp. Um, after Alad's hesitation, it makes it much easier to find that play uh, as he was declaring the hand. But wow, uh, had our defenders done that against us, I would have been super impressed. So two clubs to the spot, and I see no reason but to lead partner's suit. I might be able to score a club rough, or from what it looks like, there's a possibility of, a of an upper clut in the club suit. If partner has something like ace-king fifth, then uh, I'll get a rough, maybe play a diamond to partner's imagine days. So dummy has a 12 count. Uh, North freely bid clubs at the two level. Allen overcalled hearts. And I have a six count. Let's see what's up. So Allen is playing me for uh, the doubleton heart, it seems. I, I'm guessing partner has the ace of hearts. He would be unlikely to overcall with five to the queen, given the honors in diamonds and spades that I can see. <sighs> Actually, I shouldn't have played my ten of clubs there. That was bad. Um, yeah, that was bad. I don't know why I did it. Um, obviously, I was playing the ten of clubs as some kind of weird suit preference, but uh, I need that ten of clubs. Possibly, yeah. So that was that was a terrible play by me. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to recover. All right, partner, what are you thinking about? A diamond, fascinating. Perhaps he just wants a spade through. Maybe he has five spades, I don't know. Well, I don't see any benefit of giving partner a diamond rough if he has a singleton because my king of diamonds isn't that the winner. If he has something in spades, that might be good, but is that worth it? Do I play a heart and then hope for something back? Play the eight of spades here. Really, partners shouldn't have a spade void here, but 
things are feeling weird. The way the spades were played, I don't know if Partners 2 is a single one. Probably not. But it is an attitude card. I think it might be from Queen Jack Small. Do I need to play another spade here? Do I play a diamond and hope Partner can rough it? Do I play a heart? No. Unfortunate. Okay, so that is the ace. Oh, wait, hang on. I don't have anything left in my hand. It's just junk. Some crappy spades. A diamond I can't get to. Hello? So you had the singleton spade. I'm not sure why he didn't play a spade back if he had a singleton spade there. Spade? Yeah. Partner roughs, and then North has a club for down one. I think we did pretty well there, but I, I would have done better to hold on to that 10 of clubs. It was quite the mistake, I think. I had misled partner. So the uh, heart lead was fine. And then, um, hang on. Actually, partner is apparently supposed to win the ace of hearts there. Um, and play a spade, but instead, or maybe a diamond, but instead chose to play the jack of clubs, which I play the 10 for reasons that are beyond me. And then uh, it gets covered because, of course, can't see through the backs of the cards. And diamond through. And uh, the spade was actually correct there because the diamond would have given up a finesse. Um, and I needed to expose a singleton there. So that's a week two. And with 10 points, I have no bid. Yeah, partner was able to score that six of clubs. So two spades is the spot. Park opened with a nice five card spade suit, but that's fine. Two spades seems to be a good place anyway. Seven of clubs looks like it might be from shortness. Not sure. Um, the problem with this hand is going to be the diamond losers. Partner has four low diamonds in hand. I have the two in dummy. And unfortunately, if he tries to rough diamonds, the opponents will play Trump and then that'll be gone. Looks like Alex just attacking Trumps right away. So he's starting with this failing spade finesse. We're going to see probably um, oof, a diamond, I'm guessing. We'll find out about the club position. OK, it's a spade back. Cutting down on roughs makes sense. But that means these diamond losers aren't going anywhere unless the opponents pitch their diamonds, which they might not. So spades look to be 4-2, which is not great because it gives us a little less room to maneuver. With one extra spade in hand, Alad can afford to fool around a little bit. So we might play a heart to his jack and uh, see if the opponents 
drop their aces and kings. So this heart's going to lose to one of the two high hearts. And then we'll see if South tries to cash a second high heart. That is what we want to see. But South should probably play back a diamond here. And the opponents can cash four diamond tricks, I think. And note that Alad didn't attack clubs first. And that means that uh, he avoids the possibility of pitching one of these diamonds on the 13th club. If the diamonds get blocked, though, we're in good shape. Looks like uh, North is unblocking the diamonds. We don't have enough goo in the diamond suit, I think, for this to work out. Here, you just throw away, um, does it matter even? Is that the Ten of Diamonds? Please. No, nope, no Ten of Diamonds. Somebody has the Ten of Diamonds. I hope it's South. Fortunately, no. And now uh, there's no squeeze happening, it looks like, and we just have to play clubs out. So South has the Ten of Diamonds. Um, and uh, that means Alad might hook this. I don't know. It's tough. The question is, who do you think has the last uh, heart? Um, So North led the seven of clubs from seven, small, six. I think that clubs are three, three. I would play the king. Yeah, so North, I think, led a top of nothing club. North's uh, would not have led the seven of clubs from Jack seven six two. Yeah, good call. Two spades making is a very good score. Uh, you can see most people are down in two spades or passing it out. So uh, the uh, time to say hi to the ops. Uh, how did that round go overall? It was a good round. Uh, I'm going to bump us up to um, a decent relay precision, which is certainly above our relay precision. But yeah. The opponents can't do anything about it. It does come down to a guess at the end. Beer time, eh, partner? I'm way ahead of you. On the previous board, two clubs down one, I think that we got all the tricks we could. I don't think we blew any. Yeah. And then on the one before that, three no trump making, uh, fine result. The opponents could have made a brilliant defensive plays, but they did not. So a good round. What system am I actually playing right now? It is a uh, relay form of precision. Um, the most popular relay precision is symmetric relay. Our relays are not super symmetric, so we follow certain principles, but it's, it's certainly more customized than relay precision. Our focus in our relays is, I would say, more transfery and also does different things in terms of control strength stuff. So. Usually after showing two shape elements, Responder then shows their strength, whether it's 8 to 11 or 12 plus, which is not a normal feature of most relay positions. Should it come up and should partner bid accurately, I will be happy to uh, walk you through the meanings of what our bids are. So... I am guessing, yes, it would, Alad made the same inference that I did looking at the club spots. If it was second, the seven of clubs from Jack fourth, it would have been a sneaky lead for sure, but it was most likely to be top of nothing. ACDL, Bergen, weak heart response to two club open. And uh, yeah, same card. 
This is probably regular stamen. Huddle, four spades. Gotcha. So let's defend four spades. One other, I would call it, pretty unique feature of our relay precision is how we look at high guards. So a lot of, uh, a lot of relay systems scan for high guards using various systems. What's unusual about our system is that it uses either or scans. So when partner makes a bid showing uh, a set of basically three cards, yes or no, uh, one of the bids shows either A and then not B and C, or the same bid can mean B and C and not A. And the hope is that uh, partner, if they're exploring for slam, has enough stuff in those suits to be able to tell, also knowing their partner's point range and shape, what specific cards their partner has, and it compresses the information space. And that was an innovation that I didn't come up with, but I was happy to learn from a different partner. And uh, it makes for some fun memory work, but, but I, I definitely enjoy it, and I don't think it's cost us, or at least that part of the system hasn't cost us. Partners spending a while thinking about this lead here. But of course, the opening lead is, is a critical step in the play of a hand of bridge. Uh, honestly, a ton of match points are won and lost on the opening lead, especially these, you know, suited game contracts. Sometimes you make an active lead, it blows a trick. Sometimes the active lead is the only thing that beats the contract. So that's usually the dilemma when defending against, uh, uh, when defending against, uh, one of these, uh, type contracts. Uh, Oh, you're right. I thanks, chat. I I am sorry. Uh, I didn't realize South was thinking there. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. South is really taking their time thinking about this. Um, I don't know if they play key card, but it's a very slow pass by South, with no indication of uh, anything else. Okay, so it looks like. Let me just review. So. Three spades showed natural. Okay. And then four spades by north. Uh, wonder if south is like five hearts, four spades. No, five, five spades, four hearts. Eight of diamonds, the jack. I don't see what we can do against this one. Um, but I'm going to play uh, the two of diamonds here, which is technically an attitude card, but I, I know partner won't think I like diamonds here. I'm playing my diamonds up the line here, which should suggest that I have a card in clubs. These two diamond plays off the top. Why? Why would you do that? You would do that maybe if you don't have any losers to get rid of that are obvious, and you started with a doubleton diamond in the south hand. Okay, so south is down to king, queen, jack, fifth of spades, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is a six card spade suit. That's an encouraging diamond. Again, I know partner has the king of diamonds. So six winning spades, two winning diamonds, it's eight, nine, ten, and then it comes down to the heart suit, I think. Partner's three of hearts should be count low, high, meaning an even number. Partner probably has four hearts. Yeah, so this ace king of clubs is opposite to doubled in south's hand, right? Wait, hang on. Singleton club, two diamonds, five, five in the majors. No, six, six spades, four hearts. I don't know where the king of hearts is, but we should get both heart tricks if partner has the king. He'll fly king here, I think, but uh, he doesn't need to. He'll play his king of diamonds. 
it'll get roughed. Here comes another heart. Here comes the seven of diamonds, also getting roughed. And then finally, south will play a heart, which will probably be higher than Alad's heart spot, unless Alad defended correctly. No, wait, hang on. Uh, he just had four hearts the king. So um, I think we could have done a trick better there if the hearts had been differently played, but of course, Okay, 11 points, balanced. This is 10 to 12. This is one no trump in this position. I see. South did say six in chat. Yeah, so South did have six spades. Makes sense. Um, did I blow a trick by signaling with a nine of hearts there? I might have. No, we can't get three heart tricks. We got our two heart tricks. We can't get any more uh, just because the eight of hearts is always available at the end. And uh... <coughs> I don't know. Two diamonds is actually not natural. It's not a transfer. Two diamonds is it was what's called a doubleton ask. So I'm supposed to bid my basically my range and my doubleton here. So this bid is actually three spades, showing a doubleton spade and 11 or 12 points. This is the upper half of my opening one no trumps. And now if partner has five spades, he'll be able to sign off in three no trump. If he has five hearts, he'll go four hearts. So three no trump is the place to be. There's a good chance we'll get a spade lead if the opponents don't take the appropriate inference into the doubleton ask. The inference that the opponent should take into the doubleton ask is that my partner has exactly five spades here, um, but we might just get a spade lead. Yeah, I should have probably not signaled there just in case partner, yeah, pitched out and... Well, he'd already pitched down to three hearts by then, so there was nothing I could do. Okay, let's focus on this hand, uh, where I'm in a uh, fun three no trump contract. Looks like we probably have five diamond tricks, uh, one or two club tricks, probably two. The ace of hearts and a slow spade. I didn't lead a heart. The club lead is worrisome. Uh, South is likely to be holding uh, lengthened clubs, probably five. If South has the ace of clubs, uh, then I probably, so I can only gain by playing low from dummy here. That's the first thing I know. So I'll play low from dummy and hopefully North can't cover with the Jack. If North ducks, I'm happy. If North plays the Jack, I'll probably duck another round of clubs. So the club holds. So now I have to figure out how I want to play the rest of the hand. I have a slow club trick, I have a slow spade trick, and I have only one heart control. So if I play my diamonds all out now, the opponents might pitch down their hearts, um, but the diamonds are entries to things like the spades. So if I instead lead up to my king of spades here, I might find a nice position in the spades and still have the entries left to play on spades. So looks like the diamonds are gonna be fairly friendly here. Time for spade up. Hmm. Now, because of the way
Is that the Jacka space? Yes, okay, that's good. So, I should have the rest of the tricks here. I think I'll claim it. There's no entry problems here. Had the ace of clubs not got cashed there, I think I can make, no, it's the same number of tricks. Making five should be nice. On a heart lead, I'm held to uh, three at best, probably down. Though the hearts can be held up twice. On two hard holdups, I, I can make exactly three, I think. So, yeah, 460 is very good there. A couple people are down two in, in uh, three, no. But, um, yeah, a heart lead holds it, to, uh, holds it to three. I did forget to win the last trick with the seven of diamonds. Or did I? Well, at that point, I can always win the last trick with the Seven of Diamonds. So there. So South is opening one diamond and West is making a takeout double. I have five points and four spades. So if North passes, I'm bidding one spade. If North bids, I am passing. North is thinking for a while. Not sure about what. North has values. North might try a uh, redouble. Here comes a one heart. Mm. I'll go with spade. Why not? Uh, the king of hearts is probably going to be well positioned here, so makes my hand a little bit better. And then the clubs are opposite partners, implied clubs here. So the fact that those points are concentrated in good places, makes my hand a little better. If partner doubles here, that actually shows, okay, so he's going two spades. This is a hand that wants to bid two spades. He's got a good hand. Uh, I have the most I could possibly, I have the least I could possibly have for my one spade bid, so I am not making any further calls. North took a while to bid one heart, so I think North probably has more in store. Another slow bid by North here. If partner's doubling, partner probably has short diamonds, and South has six. North might have a diamond race available. North has, say, three diamonds. But a very out of tempo pass, and South probably has to pass here if Allet has points. North seems to have something with uh, with the slow bidding. Uh, and I've stolen it for two spades. I guess that uh, affirms the, the quality of my one spade bid. I'm guessing partner's got a 15 count with four spades. Uh, looks like partner has a 15 count with four spades. Okay, so instant heart lead, uh, probably a singleton. <sighs> That's not necessarily bad, but I think that, uh, well, I, I, I don't exactly know the spade position. The ace of diamonds is well positioned. So I'm going to, time is short. Okay, two minutes. Heart to the queen. Uh, let's uh, let's cash the spades. Spades feel three two on this auction. They're not. That's bad. However, I think the downside is minimized by the opponent's uh, blockages and the fact that the king of diamonds is over the ace of diamonds. Interesting. Uh, South underled the Ace of Hearts, holding Ace Doubleton of Hearts. I'm gonna rough. Nope. All right. Here comes a diamond back. Oh, a heart. Okay. This nine of hearts is good.
If South plays low, no, South did not play low, but if South played low, I could have pitched my diamond on the jack of hearts and only lost one more trick. Here, I still have to lose one more high spade, so I'm making two, but I have the rest. I'm glad we stopped at two. So I have a 10 count with six hearts. Um, that was a very good round. I'm going to upgrade us to a mature two over one, which apparently is very good, but I've, of course, never played a mature two over one. I've played several bad two over ones. Uh, where two over one is game forcing, and then you sort of scramble from there without any specific agreements, and then you hope that natural bidding and then the assumption that uh, the speed of partners control bids tells you whether or not it's the ace or a king uh, will guide you to the end. So uh, three clubs preempt by uh, North. This is Mike and Steph. I have to bid here. I think it has to be three hearts. Uh, three hearts should be some kind of forcing bid. Um, yeah. Four clubs by south. I'm very happy to be playing in four hearts here. And this is a forcing pass situation. If north or south bid on, a pass is shows doubt as to whether double or uh, bidding five is correct, but of course, I think four hearts is going to be the final spot. Hey, Wylia. Yeah, so the thing about two over one is like you can say you can play it and, and you don't just because it's to play it well, you need to really understand uh, what rebidding two of the major even means or bidding two no trump means. Um, and uh, knowing whether or not you're qubiting a first round control or a second round control, and a ton more above that. But yeah, one of the reasons I like a relay precision is because there's less of that ambiguity. It's all, this is my exact shape. This is exactly my cards. So South led the king of clubs, shifted to the trump, and I have uh, choices to make in the diamonds and the spades. Mm -hmm. Because the opponents didn't attack spades early, I can go after diamonds on my own speed. So the king of clubs by south, I don't actually know if it's from king-queen or not. Oh, so it is from king-queen. South has showed up with the ace of clubs. And who knows what else? Dummy. overtake. I don't need to rough this other club yet. Try the diamond hook. It fails, but I have two parking spots for the spades, so I have the rest of the tricks. This claim is not that hard. All right, for a 650, oh, gosh. 680 at the other table, must've got a spade lead. Nope, but they still figured it out. Okay, so here, um, I'm going to open a week two here. It's non-standard, but I think it's disruptive. I would have preferred if this was first seat or third seat rather than second seat, but the suit is good enough that I'm going to open it two spades. Five diamonds would have been an absolute disaster for what it's worth. Uh, five clubs <clears throat> would have been better than five diamonds for sure. Uh, one, two, three. 
three, four, five. It's doubled down three, I think. Yeah, and we get to five hearts anyway. I think Alan just bids it. Two spades doubled for takeout. Sometimes, yeah, the, the opponents, uh, depending on their like bridge level, uh, if they're not thinking about what the player is trying to do throughout the hand, they take longer to process the hand. And that can be because they're newer bridge players, or it can be because they just have no idea what the player is holding. And I think in, in our case, it's because our opponents are newer bridge players. 650 there is fine. Um, it's below average for reasons that piss me off. If you take a roughing finesse in diamonds, you can only pitch one of your spades before north covers. Um, I guess you take one round of roughing finesse in diamonds and then you rough a diamond small. If, uh, well, it got covered there. I still am failing to see where this, uh, yeah okay so uh partners bid four spades somehow i don't know how but he bid it and uh i'm hoping that the opponents forget to double us yeah when you claim it shows your cards of course but um there's uh seeing the hand and then there's actually processing it so um, some claims are simpler than others. Uh, my rule of thumb is try to claim only when it's dead obvious to even the most ranked beginner. Um, though sometimes I, I think they do just not see it. <sighs> South thinking for a long time because South is loaded. Five hearts. Love to see it. Our work here is done. Let's see if Alad has defense. He does have defense. Perfect. My hand's great for this. Um, I don't think we play Leitner doubles of five level contracts. Partner with four spades would probably have raised earlier. So I'm going to leave my ace of spades here. Oh, shoot. Yikes. Maybe I should have led something else. I don't know. But this is getting rough, and uh, those diamonds are terrifying. Had I led a club, maybe this would have turned out better. Why didn't Alan just bid four spades right away if he's got a spade stack? Probably because he has some kind of loaded heart position. So this should be suit preference, and I know it's probably his lowest outstanding spade. So unsurprisingly, he's going to have ace, king, queen of clubs. I'm giving incorrect count there. I shouldn't have given incorrect account. And I'm not sure why North didn't over trump the heart. Yeah, I, I'm, I guess Alad had a, no, did he? No, no, he, he understood what was happening, but okay. This is all very strange. I am slightly baffled by how this is being played here. But yeah, I, I, I should have given partner accurate count. All right, well, North is out of spades. It's out of diamonds probably out of clubs. So North should be just down to four hearts at this point, I think. Ah, I can't beat it. My partner must have ace, queen, jack. So this would explain the uh, delay in going to four spades. The fact that he has decent defense and uh, was setting a trap for the opponents. I guess he tried four spades, but this is gonna beat four spades all day of the week. Some folks are taking 10 tricks in spades, but I think, uh, yeah, the field is taking nine mostly. 
Anyway, nine points is a pass. Bad judgment is, you know, I don't, I don't hate five hearts. Uh, okay, I, I do hate five hearts. I actually sorta, yeah, yeah, I hate five hearts there. It's not good. You've already bid your hand with four hearts. Um, doubled down three is is already bad enough, and a trick was dropped. All right, so. What happened on 15? It hasn't scored us, but that ended up being a top board. Uh, somehow, two spades making was unique in its goodness, I guess. Uh, the three of hearts lead from ace three helped me make the contract. Partners, two clubs bid is not a strong two. It shows a hand with uh, six clubs. Now here, I'm passing. And the reason I'm passing is because I actually kind of want to defend against two hearts. He should have six clubs and 10 to 15 points, which means, hey, maybe we have a game. But also, in terms of working cards, my king, queen of hearts are much, much better on defense than they are on offense. So unfortunately, South didn't raise, and uh, I have to decide how I want to defend this. I think just playing on clubs and trying to tap to clear is the best option. Unfortunately, I'm wrong. Uh, South decided not to raise with his hand, unfortunately, because that's a, a raise and a half there. Might set such a nice trap. All right. I mean, it could lead a heart, but uh, probably blows a trick. So I'm going to lead a diamond because he played a low club. Partner's got ace, king, jack of diamonds, but that means north is out of diamonds here. I would love to see a heart. Uh, Alad should know that uh, north is trying to rough clubs and dummy because I didn't raise his clubs. So we'll see if he leads his heart or if he continues playing high diamonds. I think he will play a heart here. So if I'm putting north down for three clubs, one diamond, um, five hearts, North has four spades as well. So Alad actually had the jack of hearts. So now I have three more heart tricks coming. So that's good. But we need more than three more heart tricks. We need more than three more heart tricks. And I don't know what partner's spade holding is. I do know that he had something in clubs and the ace, king, jack of diamonds. So here come the spades. Looks like there's no holes in the spade suit. If another spade is played, and I really hope another spade is played here, I trump it, I pull two rounds of hearts. Okay, so the heart is good. I wanted to see this. Now I'm going to win some rounds of hearts and then play on, actually, diamonds. Because if North started with three clubs, North might be holding a, an important position in clubs. So... I think the best thing for me to do is play on diamonds and then force North to play out of hand. I hope I didn't squeeze partner. I think I squeezed partner. All right, North should be out of hearts at this point. So North is just down to the king of spades, a low spade, and some clubs. I don't need this. Partner should have a couple of good clubs here. What? Oh, he has the 10. Or I have the 8. The 9. All right, down one's pretty good. Had we competed in clubs, we can do pretty well, I think. Uh, it might have been better to bid up to three clubs. We've got three losers in the majors, a club loser, and then we might be able to lose another. 100 should be okay, but three clubs might make. 
Somebody made four clubs. I think the best is, and down two also. I think three clubs is probably the normal score. So uh, according to Gibb, for what it's worth, uh, four clubs should be down two on perfect defense. Over two hearts, just a refresher for you. Two no is an end plus club raise, yeah. Three clubs competitive. Of course, two hearts can make on perfect plays, so who knows if it would have been right to compete. I don't know what the par contract is here. It might be two hearts down one. <laughs> yeah, on the previous one, you made a penalty pass. <laughs> yeah. So, how are we doing? Actually... While I wasn't looking, we've moved up to 67%. This board should drag us down a fair amount. This board will push us right back up. And then this last one, I think it'll also be good in the end. Um, but uh, looks like it's, it's above average, but not fantastic. So I'm going to keep us at mature two over one in terms of quality here. I would have loved to double three hearts. That would have been so much fun. Four spades down, two is one score that helps uh, north, uh, east, west. And then, obviously, if they bid up to three hearts, cut them down easy. <laughs> oh, Alan. Oh, all right. These 18 boards have flown by just like that. We've only got two more rounds to go, six more boards. We're doing just fine. I even misspelled mosquito. In terms of systems where forgetting how to bid it is the worst, Mosquito is probably the worst possible, just because um, your partner's one level openings are the suit above what they opened. So if you forget you're playing Mosquito in the middle of a session, uh, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> All right. It's Henri and Margot. I'm in fourth seat, vulnerable with a 15 count. This is a one no trump opening, 15 to 17 at these colors, or, or rather in this position at all colors. But we'll see if it gets around to me. Al is aggressive, but second seat red on white, less likely to be. Here's one diamond, and now I have a choice. What do I want to do? So it's 15. It's unlikely to be a slam hand just because partners... 15 at best is, is unlikely to be useful opposite this. So my bid is going to be, um, we have a funny agreement here where uh, I bid a two no Trump balance game forcing. And then partner will, will bid his suits up the line. If I have four hearts, I'll bid it. So we'll see what partner decides to bid here. If he has four spades, he'll bid three spades and I'll just go three no. Three, no, it is. All right, so I get to play it here. <sighs> Probably. Okay, three knows the, the contract. The opponents have very little information to go by on the defense, uh, but they've hit my weak suit. The six of clubs is probably from five, so I need to make sure that I don't go down more than... Uh... Well, let's see. If South starts with five clubs, then I'm probably going to lose four club tricks in the use of diamonds when the opponents get in. But I might have nine top tricks if my king of clubs is a winner and I can play spades for zero losers. Who knows? 
Let's find out. So maybe I should have played my nine from dummy. Ultimately, doesn't really matter. The fact that North isn't able to play anything higher than the eight suggests that, well, why didn't South lead the queen or jack or 10 if South held the queen or jack or 10? It means North is choosing not to play one of those. Uh, so North probably has 10, eight, maybe jack 10, eight. And then uh, South has ace, queen, six. Hmm. Maybe North has 10, eight, ace, queen, jack, six, small. Okay, so, but either way, I'm winning my king. I'm gonna play some rounds of hearts because I don't really need the hearts for anything. I just wanna see the opponents throw away their club, club winners. The eight could fool the opponents into thinking that I have extra strength in clubs. Hearts are three, three. And there's a spade, okay. Unlikely you would throw a spade from four. That is worrisome. There's another low club. But if North has the 10 of clubs and South has the ace, queen, jack, then that's still four club losers. I think I just have to try the spades and hope it works. North would think if they're thinking of interposing with jack 10 small. Now, if I stuck in the eight here, I would be successful if South is now out of spades, but then I don't have a way to get back to the king of spades. So I have to stick with my principles and just play the queen of spades. So South did discard. At this point, um, I still have some club tricks to lose along with uh, the ace of diamonds. So what I might do is try to sneak past a diamond. There's the 10 of clubs. Does this get overtaken? It should. Should be overtaken here. Yep. And now South will catch a couple more club tricks. It was defended well. It shouldn't matter what North plays. And I have the final trick with the King of Diamonds. So nothing I can do there. Should be a good board for the opponents, just because they defended it pretty well. Down one is, is pretty normal. Somebody made it, but making three no Trump is very difficult to do there. So, one will drop by partner, 14 to 16. I have 10. It's a good 10. It's a better 10 if we can find uh, a major suit. Uh, so I'm going to bid Puffet Stamen. Because if partner has a five-card spade suit, we definitely want to be in four spades here. And this is enough to force the game opposite 14 points, just because of its strength uh, in terms of the high spades and clubs and diamonds. And then the standard puppet statement response here is three spades, which shows four hearts and denies four spades. Now partner can decide whether he wants to go to four hearts or not, and he is going there. So good. We've managed to land in a game contract, and uh, this is a pretty good, pretty good set of honors opposite a no trump opening. Any other makers? No other maker. Oh, one other maker. So this is what partner has. He has a 15 with nice hearts. 
we have a couple holes in diamonds and uh, a spade loser and possibly a second spade loser. If hearts are 4-1, that's also bad. And then you have to deal with like the, the long low club in the end. So if hearts are 3-2 and the ace of spades is on side, this is making. With two of diamonds, what could this be from? If it's a singleton, then uh, we're in trouble here because south will just continue diamonds, get a spade to the ace back and another rough. It's probably not a singleton. Most likely it's a fourth best diamond. South will have one other high diamond probably. So that could be something to think about. Club back. Well, this is fine. It's neutral. It's passive. No reason not to win in dummy here and cash three rounds of hearts, hoping the hearts break. This table it made, um, that's because they got a spade lead, right? Hmm. I see. At this point, South is uh, strip squeezed. Hearts are splitting. Yeah. Oh wait, did you get away with the diamond trick earlier in this hand? Yeah, diamond got stuck by. That explains it. Okay. It was not a squeeze, just a sneak by. So all the hearts are gone. And now the hand's pretty much down to the spade suit. But if Alad wants to be creative, he can do some other things, like play three rounds of clubs, rough a club, and then duck a diamond. Uh, not happening here, but the ace of spades is on side, which very much simplifies the rest of the hand. Now it's going to come down to trying to make five. So North led a low diamond, which went to the king. Uh, North would have probably led the queen jack from queen jack, so South probably has the jack and North has the queen of diamonds. That means you might be able to uh, but unfortunately, I don't think you have the entries to, but you could have been able to squeeze north, perhaps. And get rid of that diamond loser. Alad's thinking about squeeze possibilities here, and he's finding that they don't really exist. You can rough a club to get rid of that loser, but that's it. Mm -hmm. So what's Alad going to do? Probably, okay. So he's playing that. He's going to throw a diamond. I think he's going to play a spade of the king and then rough a spade back to hand. Not that it does anything. There's really no way, legitimately, to uh, avoid a loser at this point. Oh, wow. So, hang on. That two of diamonds actually was a singleton. Um, so had the defense played back a diamond, they would have got a rough. Um, but I still think it's just a loser on the loser, and because North had the ace of spades, it doesn't net them any tricks. And now the uh, five of clubs isn't a winner, but he'll try to win it anyway. And yeah, so this has to lose to the uh, queen of diamonds. Should be a fine board. Yeah, 620 is good. Um, the folks in three no trump. This one made uh, 11 tricks, but I don't think you should make 11 tricks. No, uh, makes a uh, 10 at most on uh, normal defense. 
Anyway, overall, pretty good board. Board 19 was, uh, looks just about average there. And so what were we at? We were at 67 and then a, a, an above average board. And uh, this is 21. So I have a 12 count non-vulnerable and this is a weak no trump opening of North Passes. But North is actually opening one no trump here. So Alan and I have discussed our defenses against strong no trump systems. However, my hand isn't the kind of hand that would interfere over a strong no trump just because I don't want to be playing this one. I want to be defending against one no trump. With six diamonds, I would do something to interfere. My bid would be double and then partner would bid uh, two clubs, which is pass or correct for the miners. Or he'd bid, Hello. yeah. Wait, hang on. Partner has a three heart bid here. After south is transferring to spades and if, assuming north bids three spades, I have a choice. Partner is clearly preempting in hearts with some preemptive holding. Do I want to go four hearts here? I think I will. A very fast four spades by south. And the question is, do I want to swing this board by going five hearts? Let's say we have two spade losers, two diamond losers. In four spades, how many tricks are they losing? Probably one heart and two clubs. I'm going to go five hearts. This might be terrible. It's definitely swinging the board. But I don't know. This might be right. If it's doubled down three, it's still better than four spades making. That's the thing about these colors. It's not unlikely they'll actually just bid five spades themselves. But they're doubling. I hope partner has something. So let's see. He has the king of clubs. So looking at this, just off the top, it looks like four spades is probably making. That would be my guess with maybe three club losers. How many down is this? There's three losers in spades and diamonds, and then probably one hard loser, maybe two. So this is down for maybe 300. So the opponents have, have made a mistake here. They haven't cashed out their spades and they're playing their ace king of diamonds. And this allows Alad to discard a spade on the diamond. Uh, I think he'll do that before he tests hearts. So he'll lead a club up and then play that queen of diamonds. The queen of clubs there sort of conceals position better. Now he can rough a spade back to hand and then lead up a heart. The question is, do you run the 10 if North plays low? Because uh, we have a 10 card heart fit and North should have at least two hearts for North's uh, opening bid. That feels like an ace queen doubleton. We have all but one of the rest of the tricks, so we're down one, which is fine. I think that they have, so they had a slow diamond loser for what it's worth, but I don't know what the position in the club suit was. It's possible we're beating four spades. Guess we're gonna find out now. Uh, mm. I think four spades is down, but it's it's actually making. Am I missing something? Okay, so how does four spades make here? Five, six, seven. How 
how do you avoid losing a diamond trick? It must be a red suit squeeze on uh, on me. So let's pretend I know how this one gets played. So heart up. Let's say, oh, okay. Is it just that folks aren't playing clubs on the opening lead? On a heart lead, obviously, it makes. Um, but here, after, okay. That ended up being very nice. All right. Turns out we're having a pretty good game. Didn't think it would be, but I'm going to upgrade us to Mosquito, remembering all the relays. Is it just that people didn't cash out their clubs right away? Well, these defenders managed to cash out their clubs. Now North needs to play a passive spade and does not do so. Okay. But yeah, if North plays passively at that point, then you can squeeze uh, East in hearts and diamonds. Oh, it's my bid. Partners opening one diamond. This is the nebulous precision diamond showing 11 to 15. Part, uh, North is over calling one spade here. So do I make a negative double or do I pass? Um, I think I will pass. This shows the strength of my hand better than the negative double. And I, who knows if I want to be playing in two hearts. Partner has something in the minors. I see no reason to pull him out of clubs. Uh, there's no inference that he has longer diamonds or longer clubs here. Uh, usually, actually, this shows 5-4 either minor. Um, there are, I guess, technically some cases where he has five clubs and doesn't have four diamonds, but I am assuming he does have that. Um, he's usually more likely to have longer clubs than diamonds on balance, so I'm happy to just play it here. We definitely don't have game if I have a six count and he's limited to 15. Let's see if South can scrape up a response. Nope. So we bought it for cheap. Um, looks like partners sort of just competing, really. This is going to be better than no trump, if only because of those heart losers. Diamonds might have been better than clubs. If Alid leads the Ten of Spades off dummy, it might induce South to rough the Ten of Spades. It mu South might feel like the Ten of Spades is a winner and that South is roughing the Ten of Spades, but um, who knows? So that's one tricky thing he could do. And that's what he's trying. But uh, unfortunately, no dice. So North, uh, as North always would have, is winning a spade here. And probably is going to shift to hearts. North doesn't have the ace king of hearts, I think, because North didn't lead those. Fortunately, we've got a rough and discard situation. And now, um, if South discards, Alan just throws away a heart. He'll throw away a heart anyway, I think. 
And South is, for what it's worth, a favorite to hold longer clubs, just because North has five spades. So this uh, this might have gained us a trick. We're going to see another heart. North is, I would say, marked with the king of hearts at this point. So if, uh, oh, so no king of hearts. This finesse probably needs to be taken at some point. So Alad will... I'm guessing, take the finesse here. He'll put in the queen of diamonds. This preserves the communications. Finesse is losing. We're going to see another high heart. So we've lost five tricks. This contract's not making. Um, we can hopefully avoid too many under tricks. If the king of spades is positioned correctly, then we're good. This is another tricky position where I think that Alad might discard a diamond from dummy. Because that might protect against a diamond rough later on. He doesn't need to rough in dummy. If he roughs with, yeah. So let's count briefly. We don't know what the diamond or heart counts are at this point, because nobody's shown out of either of those suits or indicated that they're showing up. North is continuing to play spades for some reason. I think if North had the king of clubs, North would be unlikely to lead a club. So this argues against North holding the king of clubs. And Alad did throw off the diamond because uh, he doesn't need to keep it. Here, Alad will probably over rough and then lead a club to his queen. North is going to fly king and then play another spade, I think. No, the spades are all gone. Wait, yeah, the spades are all gone at this point. So North has to play a, a red card or the or another club. If North plays another club, all the clubs are drawn and Alad claims down one. I think the nine of clubs is still missing at this point, along with one other low club spot. So here's a heart. Now Alad will have a decision to make. Does he play a club, hoping he draws the two outstanding trump? And he does. And South has a club? Nope. Unfortunately, South does not have a club. So now Alad has to lose a trick to the uh, outstanding jack of clubs. North is going to rough, and then there's a heart loser. So down three is bad. We are vulnerable, so it's extra bad. The only question is, do the opponents have game? And they do not have game. And 300 is very bad there. Um, had we played it differently, we might do better. The spade defense is the best possible defense. Okay, so three passes to me. I'm in fourth seat. I have an 11 count. Partner's limited to, at best, a bad 11. And that means that the opponents probably have the balance of power. Also, the opponents likely have more spades than I do. So I am passing this hand out. Should be pretty normal, I think. Unless one of them passed with something unusual. Looks like South had a decent 11. I would have opened that. Most people wouldn't. North has a fourth seed opening of one diamond, but most people wouldn't open that one diamond. I bet most people are passing this out. Uh, you can see most people do pass it out. And fortunately, we made the right choice. Looking back to the previous hand, it looked like everything was going correctly in terms of the declare play and defense up until the very end. So Alad played a club. Uh, hang on a sec. Diamond, spade. Here, I have a very clear negative double. Uh, 
Um, I'm just going to double this. I don't think I need to alert it. Now, at this point, yeah, Alad roughs, and then, as I explained, if the clubs split, Alad gets away with down one. Because the clubs didn't split, um, what he needs to do is win the ace of diamonds, rough a diamond, and then uh, score the eight of clubs by roughing a heart or something. No, you play a diamond to the jack and then rough a heart back. That's how you avoid the the bad. So, okay. Let's think about this one. Three spades. Is this worth doubling? Yes. A uh, partner might think this is takeout. Still, I, I think we have the balance of power and... Uh, He didn't bid hearts. I'm going to pass him in four clubs. Hope partner didn't psych. South is probably thinking of redoubling. Uh, So I think I need to lead a trump here to cut down on potential roughs. Oh my gosh. South decided to pull four clubs to four spades with five clubs of the queen nine and two cashing aces. We have been bailed out for sure. The spade lead might simplify the spade position, unfortunately. If declarer has the queen of spades and yeah, not a lot of entries back to hand, then this could be a problem. But I think North is going to be trying to rough diamonds and dummy anyway. Maybe, who knows? Okay. We get a partner, you've got good clubs. Six of diamonds, I don't know whether that's a low diamond or a high diamond, but he is encouraging clubs, which makes sense. He should have the king and jack of clubs and probably four clubs, maybe five. Here comes a heart up. A deep finesse, I think I need to win my 10 here. That's probably low from two. Now, if we try to cash out our clubs, we might run into the problem that it sets up dummies clubs. I'm gonna try cashing my ace of clubs to see what's going on in the suit first. So North is gonna rough this because North has voided clubs, okay. So, so his partner did start with five clubs and one spade, maybe two hearts. His partner have the jack of hearts, the queen. He has the ace, excellent. He can afford to cash another high club. He's playing the diamond from queen jack, from jack 10. Hmm.
I don't like diamonds. Might as well play the club through. Second rough. North has one more spade, one high heart, and then I think the queen of diamonds, but if partner has the queen of diamonds, it's down. Yes. Whew. Lucky us. Lucky us. Wow, that was close. I'm glad uh, three spades doubled didn't end up sitting. How did board 23 do? It's above average. Um, and then board 22 was near bottom. And then board 24 is a top, so we'll probably stay about where we are in the game at a <laughs> It's a hard hand. Don't blame him. Okay, so four spades is the spot. Try not to go down two. We're at 67.4%. Um, let's see if that holds up. I don't think we're getting to 70, but I don't think we're dropping before 65. And uh, we get to watch this one. Four spades by north. What's the lead going to be? West open a diamond, so we're likely to see a diamond lead. You're welcome, Brent. <sighs> so, yeah, board one is, it happened. It is what it is. No problem. Uh, we made up for it for the rest of the game. Played decent defense. Uh, board 24 could have gone very badly, but the opponents decided to pull four clubs to four spades with that. How badly does four spades do it's a four clubs four clubs is a very bad contract um, nobody else is in four clubs i think it's down two doubled so this line of play doesn't look optimal i think you have to lose one spade and a few hearts You have to be down two at this point? Okay. Maybe not. Play the jack. Oh, no. What are you doing? The reason that playing the jack works there, even though you have to eventually lose a spade to the king, is uh, you... You get to rough that last heart and dummy. There's no way to to avoid having that happen, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. Or maybe you end play east. So we're not getting a top here. We're uh, probably getting top. Wait, the king of hearts play actually gives away a trick. So we are getting a top. Excellent. Yeah. 
And uh, North has the rest of the tricks. So drum roll, please. How did we do? Sixty-seven point two percent is my guess. Oh, that's the guess. And huh, two thirds. Nice. Amazing. I cleared the field. That's nice. It was a little close in east-west, but we got good enough. Two-thirds of the match points available. Can't complain. <sighs> nice game. All right. Now, I am going to be playing some more bridge later tonight, but it's not going to be streamed. It's going to be with family. And uh, it's going to be a nice, relaxing social bridge game. Uh, and that's going to happen after a little break. I'll be alerted as to when it's starting. But overall, happy with how we played mostly. And uh, we weren't too punished for our mistakes. Just one or two of them. So overall, I would say that is about the quality of the bridge we played. So anyway... Hope you guys had a good night. I'm streaming, as always, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays, playing the Hardhouse Bridge Club with either Alad or Eric. Take care.